So hello friends, this week I am planning to do some full spectrum conversion of a few cameras I have lying around and then what I'm going to do is to replace the hot mirror of these cameras which look like this and then this thing is going to block the infrared and ultraviolet light that otherwise you cap your camera is capable of reading. So, and then just to be able to keep sharpness this thing is about 1.3 millimeters and it takes part of the optical recipe of the sensor so if we just remove it this is what I did the first time uh, I did a full spectrum conversion and then my images weren't just as sharp as I would have liked so the solution I found is to replace that window with a quartz window I found this, well this was actually a block, just a minute, a few minutes before of thickness 1.5 millimeters and then I have done some conversions already, there is actually a video of that and then the results are quite good. So I was doing this and then I told myself, okay, I'm going to show you guys how this thing is done, it is extremely simple and then in that way you will be able to do yourselves also some uh, yeah to make your own filters to cut your own glass and then do totally independently your full spectrum conversion so what we need we have a glass cutter and then I have this one this is a good quality one it's uh, this wheel here is in carbide so very hard because the quartz is actually quite hard so and then as you can see my cuts are not very good because I haven't done this thing in quite some time because usually I cut a few windows and then I keep them around and then I do conversion as I go okay so I have this window here it's actually bigger than the hot mirror but then it's a lot cheaper I think I paid uh, for some 15 windows something around like $75 which is $5 a window and then if you want to get it to the actual size I think it's going to be a few hundreds and then if you send your camera to convert it to someone's it's going to cost uh, yeah, quite expensive actually and then my alternative what I'm proposing here is just do the job yourself and then you will get a full spectrum camera for around what 40 bucks assuming you have like a D70 that you can find around for some 20 dollars okay first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark make a few lines just to get the size of the window I'm going to cut and then I have somewhere around here a ruler and then it and then as you can see I'm going to mark well, I have enough space for making four windows so actually the window itself is not five dollars but one dollar twenty five which is very 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 interesting for full spectrum conversion okay now I'm going to do make a line here and then here you go I have my four windows and as you can see 
it fits also on the other side okay and with that now we proceed to marking the glass with the glass cutter be patient with this so what I'm going to do is to use this rod so just to have a height and then I'm going to guide myself with the rod Better. So I'm putting a lot of force and insisting a lot. So this one is going to be good. This one so so. So I'm going to pass over again just to make sure. Yeah, that's what not doing. It was not good. Okay. And then once you have done that, I actually do something just to be safe. Yes. I actually put some tape just in case the glass breaks I don't have pieces of glass like everywhere okay I have done my markings and then now you just need to start forcing just a bit here you go you saw what I did I just took this rubber here and then what I did was to start going back and forth like this just very gently and then it breaks and then I have my first part then well, this one is a bit tricky because I don't have enough grip so what I'm going to do is to use a tool which is uh, what it is what is going on oh, ah, okay. here it is This is the problem. I just broke it partially, but not a big deal. This is why I use the tape because as you can see here my finish is not going to be perfect. Okay. Okay. This one is not pretty. 
and then it's going to the job and then you see why well, it's interesting to have the tape no oh, this one is over I will fix it after and then here we will cut There you go, up. You see, it is extremely easy. Just need to make your mark. So, what you create a fault in the glass, and then after that, you just need to put a little amount of force just to make the crack grow. you go this try wasn't very good but okay they have the right size and then this part the edges are anyway outside the sensor so I can live with it so this is all I wanted to show you today so this is how you cut glass for making your own filters and then I hope it and then as you can see I am using the tape just to pick a small piece of glass. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time. Huh?